Yeah, thanks. That's a great question. Um, so if you think about biographical writing, there are two main approaches you could take. One would be what we could call a commemorative biography. And there have been some of those in Dutch about Bavink. Um, you know, for the decades after he died, um, every so often a new, really short commemorative biography would appear, uh, which is there just to tell the world this is a great figure. Um, it's kind of an exercise in reputation management as well. Um, so a commemorative right. biographer um, has a really good idea of the story they want to tell about their figure before they begin the research or the writing. Um, they're not so much interested in things that might not portray their, their figure in a flattering light. Um, so those kinds of things tend to get airbrushed out. So if you go back a while, it would be what we imagine to be hagiography, right? The lives of saints for devotional benefit. Um, another approach would be a critical biography, which is a different kind of biographical writing where you're really committed to the sources. Um, if, you, if you go back to this person's letters and diaries and their unpublished writings, the whole story of their life, um, for good and bad, warts and all, um, what kind of critical scholarship can you use to talk about, um, about their life um, in, a, in a more rounded way, I guess? Um, in a way where, as the writer, you don't know what the conclusions will be before you start writing. Um, you could be really surprised by what you find, for example, but you're committed to telling the whole story that the sources will allow you to tell. So in my case, that meant um, years and years, really, working with uh, with his diaries, with, um, with his letters, with uh, um, unpublished manuscripts, um, with um, newspaper entries that cover his life. Um, so with all of that kind of stuff, trying to tell a story about Bavink, that's it's not critical in the sense of you know being an axe, a kind of a hatchet job, just trying to yeah. tear him to right. bits. But it's critical in the approach that I take. Um, I'm trying to tell the story, and I, and I guess in a, a warts and all fashion, rather than rather than this just being like reputation management to tell the world or to tell people who think Bavink is great. Yes, indeed, he is great. Um, so it's a different kind of exercise. I think it's more interesting theologically. Um, if, you know, if we're committed to the idea that, that people are sinners and um, that we live in a world that's a really complex place, uh, a one-sided story where we only highlight um, you know, the, the obvious, easy, the low-hanging fruit is, for me anyways, as a Christian and as a biographer, less interesting actually.